Brooke, not much sun today, but I didn't mind because it was still kind of like cool and like it didn't, it wasn't super hot. That's right. You know, at least with the overcast conditions, a little bit of a breeze, it gave us a break from, you know, those straight 90s shades that we have pretty much what it felt like all summer long. And then fall, we actually have some fall like weather, feeling in the fall like mood and also dealing with some fall showers off into the distance there. You can see that on our sky cam, one shower is going to continue to work its way closer to land. So we're going to keep an eye on that for our friends over down in Palm Beach, eventually West Palm Beach, the downtown area, as it continues to further push off towards the west. 83 was our high temperature today. Now, that's a little bit below our average, which is 86 for this time of the year, thanks to the rain, the clouds, and of course that breeze. Winds today, gusty at times. We even had a wind as strong as 30 miles per hour in the West Palm Beach area. Right now, 13 mile per hour wind, 81 degrees, feels like temperature right around the mid 80s with that humidity. There's looking at your hour by hour forecast. Temperature is pretty much staying steady in the mid to upper 70s as we go throughout the overnight. Rain chance is also pretty prominent there in our forecast. So we are expecting to see a few spotty showers as we go throughout the rest of your evening, even past midnight, and then on and off rain as we start you off on your Sunday morning. There's a look at the radar, one hour time lapse, and we do have showers mostly pushing from that east to west motion. Some moderate rain, no heavy rainfall there, but we're not looking at any lightning strikes either is pretty much moving off towards the west another shower that's what we saw in our sky cam offshore coming closer to land but no lightning strikes that's a good sign and again very light rain so not too heavy either Boca Raton we do have an isolated shower just to your north as you look into the bigger picture we have all this tropical moisture to our south and then we have this boundary right up here and that's going to help increase the moisture as we head throughout your Sunday expecting to see a little bit more coverage even Monday looking pretty soggy there and then a little bit more on the isolated side starting Tuesday Wednesday and into Thursday let me show you that future track we have the cold front moving Moving southward, rain chances again scattered across the area. There's a look one o'clock for your Sunday. We have that moisture building in, especially along southern portions of Palm Beach County. So anywhere from Delray down south towards Boca Raton, that's where we're expecting to see the heaviest of rain isolated for the Treasure Coast. And as we continue throughout the rest of the evening, hit or miss. So it is going to be one of those soggy on and off shower days. And then we're going to repeat the forecast there for you for your Monday on and off rain. A little bit more heavier on the western half of the state. Unfortunately, it's going to really you know, slow down the cleanup process that they're dealing with in the southwest Florida coast. And then Tuesday, a couple of isolated showers as we start off your morning. As for the tropics, it looks pretty quiet in the Atlantic waters, even in the Caribbean Sea for the most part. Gulf of Mexico not looking too bad. But as you look in the western portions of the Caribbean, here we go. We have a tropical storm. This will not impact the United States. It's actually going to move into the Pacific waters. This is Tropical Storm Julia, the only system that we're tracking at the moment. It is still a tropical storm, just shy of a hurricane, expected to strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane before making landfall along Nicaragua's coast. And then it's going to move over land, weaken eventually, reemerge in the Pacific Ocean. And then it's going to get a new name eventually in the Pacific waters when it does enter into that basin. As for our temperatures tonight, look for the mid to low 70s, lingering clouds, passing showers in the forecast. We rebound into the mid 80s for tomorrow. Beach and boating conditions, high tide, 8.15 a.m. It comes with a catch. We have the king tide cycle going on. So we are expecting to see high tides running higher than normal for about three hours. So if you do see some flooding on the roadways, try to avoid driving in those areas. Here's a look over the next several days. Temperatures pretty much setting the mid 80s, less rain. As as we head throughout the midweek and then rain chances increasing by next week.